Hey, how's it going? Um, so today I wanted to do a short video on my process for t-shirt um, and keywords research. Basically it's a how to do print on demand keyword research um, for beginners. So let's have a look um, at how my process is going to be. Um, there will be some overlap with the previous video of niche research. Feel free to go check that out later. Now before we start, let me show you this Chrome extension. It's called AMZ Suggestion Expander. It's free at the moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it will be paid, but there are a few um, keyword research tools out there. Okay, this is the one I'm going to use today, AMZ Suggestion Expander. Um, if you look at this picture, it basically shows you what it does. You type in something, a keyword, board games in this case. This is what Amazon will give you. This is the um, extension working. I'll show you words before, words after, words between, <laughs> and anything else. All right. So this is the extension we're going to use. Now, last week I mentioned you've got to do your niche research to decide um, what niche or area you're going to target. Um, so at the moment, there's something, something called Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. So we'll have a look at that. So let's type Valentine's Day. Uh, Valentine's Day gift and then um, I'll go for ideas okay if you do Valentine's Day gift ideas or maybe well, let's stick a shirt because that's kind of a print on demand gift or Valentine's Day shirt ideas and you can just see what comes up as you're typing alright so that's one way to find what keywords to look for and you can also use the you know alphabet um, approach. Um, it's it's not difficult. You basically type in the first keyword phrase over here, so this is your keyword, Valentine's Day shirt, and then you type in A, see what comes up, B, see what comes up, C, see what comes up, and so on, all the way down to U, V, W, X, Y, Z, right? So have a look at what the last one is, can't zip, okay, or U, you know. Um, so that's the alphabet method and that's one of the things I will probably use as well okay now I'm going to do shirt ideas see what comes up there's 80,000 <laughs> um, what this basically means is there's 80,000 other products um, trying to rank for this <laughs> this phrase this keyword now I can't compete with that so I've done some research and show uh, I want to show you what niching down looks like we are still using Valentine's Day gift shirt, but we're including funny and coffee. So automatically I'm looking for customers who are looking for funny and coffee in their shirts. Okay, <clears throat> now you can have a look and see what comes up. But basically, you're looking for shirts that um, are selling. Um, again, these are the rankings. Okay, and the higher the ranking the worse it is it's kind of like a music or movie chart you you want the number one music or movie um, winner so the lower the ranking the better so this one will sell well if you get into the millions they don't sell as well maybe every so often so that's something you have to consider and that kind of ties in with the niche research piece but today we're focusing on keywords so what I would do is then open a few of these open a few of these alright on separate tabs and this is one I opened earlier clearly they're targeting a pizza sub niche that's my valentine and it's funny alright and you can see they're looking for valentine's day gifts for boys <laughs> for kids um, so you can kinda of see these are the keywords that they're, they're trying to rank for alright and the last, oh, sorry not last two, what's it, one, two, three fourth and fifth bullet points on Amazon these show you the keywords that they're also trying to go for so if you look at this they're also looking for boys, kids, men, distress vintage um, <laughs> graphic apparel uh, design showing pepperoni pizza and heart shape um, so yeah they, these are all obviously keywords that, that this um, design is trying to go for as well so take a look at other um, Oh, other shirts okay 
you can see in the title and you can see in the fourth and fifth bullet points you'll get a whole load of keywords that that your competition is trying to look for so I would do that for say if we go back to this here I would do that for shirts in the hundreds of thousands um, preferably the lower the better I'll definitely do it for something like this but you gotta keep in mind um, you know you need to be able to compete with some of these shirts so your design needs to be good enough to <laughs> to, to compete with them alright so keywords is, is obviously important so you can get in front of the customer but if they don't buy it Amazon's gonna push yours all the way down to the back alright so make sure you can design well um, now that's the keywords that I get from Amazon okay let's show you the keywords I get elsewhere so I would go to somewhere else like Etsy and type in something similar. I might niche down, okay? I might niche down to coffee or funny or pets or something else, but basically you want to niche down and see what other people are looking for. Like Valentine quarantine, you know, coronavirus funny shirt. <laughs> so there you go. That's another keyword that some people are using. All right. And finally, I would always, always look on Google to see what comes up because it gives me so much information as to what else other people are looking for. So I, I don't know morning chores, but Pinterest is very popular. You can check out what's on Pinterest. Um, and again, just see what keywords people are looking for. You know, fantastic DIY um, Valentine's Day t-shirts, for example. I would never have thought of that. Um, or I love my awesome wife. You know, what's this, um, you know, Valentine's t-shirt design. So go and have a look at other sources and then make sure you come back to Amazon. And in conjunction with your niche research, make sure the results are as low as you can get them. And you see a few shirts that are selling, you know, okay or very well. All right. So that will be my process on how I'm going to do my keyword research. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Smash that um, bell icon so you can get notified. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And um, I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.